The Indian Army Chief has won Pakistan. This time, the whole country is ready with it. And this time, it will not be right with the Sindhur 1.0. This time, we will do the work of the Sindhur 1.0. This time, we will do the work of the Sindhur 1.0. And we will do the work of the Sindhur 1.0. We will have to think about the Sindhur 1.0. We will have to think about the Sindhur 1.0. We will have to think about it. The Ministry of External Affairs has responded to protests in POK. Uh, we have seen reports on protests in several areas of Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir, including brutalities by Pakistani forces on innocent civilians. We believe that it is a natural consequence of Pakistan's op oppressive approach and systemic plundering of resources from these territories, which remain under its forcible and illegal occupation. Pakistan must be held accountable for its horrific human rights violations. After Pakistan military failed to protect its air bases, hangars and aircraft against Indian strikes in May 2025, Pakistan's Deputy Prime Minister has claimed that if more nations join the Saudi-Pakistan Defence Pact, then it will become a NATO-like alliance. The Netherlands Supreme Court is set to decide whether the Dutch government can continue supplying F-35 fighter jet parts to Israel, following a legal challenge by Dutch human rights groups seeking a ban, highlighting how dependence on American weapons and global supply chains can create legal and political risks. The Indian Air Force chief has reaffirmed confidence in the AMCA program, calling the 2028 first flight on 2035 induction achievable, and could actually happen earlier, if the program is driven with enough urgency and commitment. The Indian Air Force chief has positioned the Rafale fighter jet as the most practical choice for immediate fleet expansion, highlighting its ease of integration given the 36 aircraft already in service. Apart from the 114 Rafale order, he also noted openness to other platforms such as Russia's Su-57 fighter jet, but stressed that the final decision must hinge on robust technology transfer and make in India commitments. Armored Vehicles Negam Limited is seeking international partners to expand exports of its Sir Mark I tanks and BMP-2 vehicles across Africa, West Asia, Central Asia and Southeast Asia. Brazil's ambassador to India has confirmed that if India acquires the C-390 medium transport aircraft with local production, Brazil will purchase an equivalent value of Indian weapon platforms like the Tejas Mark 1A and Prachan light combat helicopters. The DRDO has launched a project to develop the Durga 2 300 kW high-power laser weapon system with a large adaptive telescope and advanced beam control system to neutralize missiles and medium-altitude and high-altitude long-endurance UAVs at ranges up to 20 km in all-weather day-night conditions. Field trials are targeted for 2027, with future deployment on truck-mounted platforms, followed by airborne platforms. The DRDO is spearheading the development of indigenous 8x8 and 10x10 next-generation transport air erector launchers for the Agni 2 to Agni 5 missiles, in collaboration with private sector. The initiative targets 80% indigenization by 2028, reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. The Agni series relies on bulky truck-trailer launch systems, which are limited in off-road mobility and highly vulnerable to satellite and aerial surveillance. The new transporter erector launcher will enable stealthier and rapid deployment, concealment and survivability in contested environments. The Indian Navy's request for information for landing platform docks mentions support for helicopters with a maximum takeoff weight of 40 tons, and this requirement effectively singles out the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion, which is the only operational helicopter in this class. The CH-53K is built for shipborne heavy lift missions, carrying 12 tons internally, or 16.3 tons externally, including armored vehicles or artillery. It can transport 40 troops, fly at 315 km per hour, and operate up to 460 km combat radius, which is extendable via aerial refueling. Today's top 3 comments.